Hello. I have machined my um, shoulder seam. So if you look, that's from the front side and this is the back shoulder. So the next part would be, we have to press it. So as you see, I'm pretty much pressing in my, um, mainly in my seam allowance. And then turn it to another side and I'm going to press here as well. Okay. Now, you need to make a decision with the seam allowance. Um, as they, you know, see it's quite big. And sometimes in certain theatres, they do keep the seam allowance as big as this one. And if you decided to keep um, five centimeter seam allowance, then you have to um, trim them um, slightly. So in a way it's like a stagger, so one shorter than another, and then um, iron it towards the back. So you, you would iron it, uh, your seam, seam allowance towards the back and the canvas will cover that. Uh, and again, you have to, um, you know, trim your canvas. Um, but um, for this one, because it's, um, you don't need, we don't need to keep so many seam allowance, we're going to trim them. And, um, and you, if you know, it's actually, you know, you don't need it. Sometimes it can be in the way. So I'm going to cut them um, to 2.5. Just still quite big seam allowance left here um, as well, if you think about. Um, so, so that's why it, sometimes it's um, better to trim it. But again, as I said, it's your, it's your choice and it's obviously who you work with. The next work I would like you to do, if you cut your seam allowance shorter and now we can be able to press them open. That's where the seam allowance lays the best because it will be more flat and uh, will um, also, we're not going to create so much bulk in one area. So that's why it's quite nice if you press them open. So. Then if you um, don't have steam, proper steam, then use cloth. Apply your cloth there and iron your um, iron your seam as flat as you can. So just need to see that slightly interferes my tucking here of my canvases. So I'm just going to undo that a little bit. Um, so see how important to leave your canvases loose from the shoulder. So if it does interfere, so you need to snip your palm your um, threads, your tucking from your canvases in order to uh, make sure your seam is pressed flat. Perfect. Um, the next part would be is folding your canvases over your seams, over the shoulder. And again, as you see, it stops uh, all in one place. So we need to, um, to trim them so it doesn't um, so it's, so it's staggered, so it's not um, um, cut in one place, which is will create a sharp line. So I'm going to cut the felt first, then chest canvas, and then leave my hair canvas as it is. So can you see that it's all different, different layers. So you have to go over, and again, it slightly interferes with my lining. So I'm going to uh, take the tucking of my lining so I can lay my canvas as flat as I can. And I probably have to re-tuck my lining again to make sure it stays in place until I finish. Okay, so put my canvas back. Now I'm going to press it again. Okay, 
Now I'm going to fold my lining and create the crease. I'm going to press it that over. Now, uh, because I um, snapped my um, tucking thread here, so and lining became too loose. Um, what I would do next is to retouch my lining in that area back. So with the tucking thread, so it actually stays during the um, attachment of the collar and um, attachment of the sleeve. So, so it's quite important so it doesn't get undone. Otherwise, it can be ruined. And it's exactly the same that side. If you had them, um, you know, if you had to snip your tucking um, from your lining. Um, then yeah, I touched again. So my one is fine that side, but I'm going to retuck lining um, to the to the back again so it stays safe. Okay, so just going to turn around to see if um, any further pressing needed to be done before I continue. And um, the one thing I will do, can you see that? I will give a little press um, after when I tuck my um, lining, I will give a little press in that area to so make sure that you see that. So I will give a little press with that area, but I need to use, I will use my cloth for that. And I place the um, cloth and I will iron that area again. So make sure it's, um, it's nice and, and um, smooth and keep that area really, really um, uh, well ironed. So it helps you to um, apply your collar and apply your sleeves as well. So it's, that's kind of like very, very important um, to do that. All right, then um, that's it for this lesson. So I see you in the next lesson. Bye.